What is going on everybody, Matt at 222 here today bringing you guys another figure review. Today we are looking at the Star Wars Black Series Forlom. Is it Forlom? Forlom? I'm going to I'm gonna call it Forlom. I, I, I like Forlom. Alright, so looking at the packaging. Standard Black Series packaging, nothing really new here. Nice shot of Forlom right there. There is his name. Big 67 on the side telling us this is the 67th figure in the line and then nothing else there, nothing on this side. Got a brief, brief bio in many languages right there. If you want to read that in any of those, feel free to pause this video now. And there a big face shot of Forlom and some other stuff right there. Alright, so looking at the figure... This is definitely on the C-3PO body, which, excuse me, which uh, is, okay, is okay. I mean, it's it's supposed to be, so I'm not going to fault it for that. Face sculpt is awesome. I love how, I love how he's got the kind of gold trim for the eyes. And then if you look in this eye, it's translucent. Not so much this one, but this eye, it's translucent. And you can see kind of a green light on the inside that's really dope that's a really nice effect really digging the face sculpt other than that the body like i said this is a c3po body so it is pretty scrawny and not the best for posability does have a little kind of rust kind of looking paint right in between his pecs which is nice i'll, I'll take it it's got red right there. Don't know what that's supposed to mean, but it is there. And you can see even on the legs, he's got kind of the brown kind of rust color paint. So that's that's nice. Nice detail on there. It's, it's nice. It's like a... It's nice when you get a plain, a figure that's fairly plain, but then there's enough stuff on it that you're kind of like, okay, you know what? I appreciate that. That's how I feel with this guy. Um... Uh, other than that, articulation is pretty sus. So the head moves side to side, moves up, doesn't really move forward. And then the arms are on a cut joint, so you can swivel them around. Then the arm does kind of swivel inside the shoulder joint. The arms, you can slightly articulate them. But if you move them too much, you're going to pop that out. So that's about the most you could get with it. Wrists do rotate and hinge. Torso doesn't, for mine, this is for me anyway, mine torso doesn't rotate. It just kind of wiggles forward and back. Can't get it to rotate, but hips do move out this far. Kicks that far forward. And then the knee does bend. Uh, so does that hurt a big snap? I thought I, I thought I broke something. So yeah does have a single joint knee that's about the range of motion you're gonna get and then he has of course ankle rockers and ankle pivot figure itself stands decently and his one and his one and only accessory is his kind of blastery looking rifle which is nice um you have the focus it looked well. It's sculpted nice. There's really no paint on it. Uh, but it is nice nonetheless. And I don't know if that's supposed to be like a, a rifle. I don't assume it is because there's no scope. Maybe like a maybe like a machine gun. I don't know. Why don't you guys tell me? Why don't you guys tell me if you know what kind of gun Forlom Forlom uses? I think it's a, I think it's supposed to be like a long rifle. But there we go. He does hold it well, and he does look awesome holding it. This is a good figure, man. I don't need to tell you guys to buy it, because if you're like me, you're probably working on completing those bounty hunters. So most likely, you're going to go for this anyway. If not, then I, I do recommend this guy, because he is a nice enough figure, and he looks pretty badass on the shelf. But that is going to be it for this one, guys. So once again, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your continued support. If you're not already, guys, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, share it with your friends, leave me a comment, all that good stuff. 
Social media links are going to be in the description, as they always are. You guys know that. I don't have to keep telling you. Of course, guys, Facebook.com slash Sanctuary and YouTube.com slash Sanctuary. Go check both of those out. I would appreciate that. And other than that, I'm going to cut it off here, guys. So thank you again. Have yourselves a great day, and I will catch you next time with another figure review. And bye.